Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. We're live. We are live. Friday Good morning. morning to all. We'll wait for a few minutes for people to join us. Yeah. Happy Boy. Friday. Happy Friday. I feel like we made it. I say this every week, Woo. but man, oh man. It's my There's favorite day of the week. <laughs> Well, and I thought about you today because I was like, I don't have anything like Live United to really wear that would show up here as we're talking. And so um, I need one of those like vests or logo wear or something like that. Well, there's a time finding something to wear. I think there's a Cyber Monday special going on with the United Way Supply Store. So maybe you guys should go on and order something up and get those shirts that you were going to order a year ago that no one ever ordered. I know, right? <laughs> Remember? Well... <laughs> Good morning to everybody. We got some people watching. Good morning. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, it's Friday. Thanks for sticking with us. We had some technical difficulties this morning. Why not? Good morning. Good morning. It's Coffee with Carol and Heather. And today we have Heidi, our awesome staff member, office mate. Um, <laughs> Heidi, give everybody a shout out today. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm excited to be here. This is a big morning for us. It is a big morning. This is, is exciting. Heidi, tell everybody what your role is with United Way since they haven't seen you maybe on the Friday, fundraising Friday, Coffee with Carol and Heather. So I am the resource development and relationship manager and have been really busy this campaign season with all of the workplace campaigns. So you might have seen me, well, you probably talked to me on the phone. You could have seen me on some Zoom kickoffs, but here I am live and uh, we've been doing everything virtual this year, but the campaigns are doing wonderful. Everyone is, volunteers are doing fantastic. It's been, it's been really a great experience. Good morning, Matt Kostecki. I saw you on Facebook Hi, today. He is a, now a board member of Gigi's Playhouse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you know that? Isn't that fun? Yeah, I Matt actually you wearing a it. snowflake necklace. Oh. I well, I am hoping that that's not going to bring on the flakes. I am huge into weather, following the weather. So from what I can see, we're not really going to have a lot of the white stuff until closer to the last two weeks of December. If anyone else out there has a beat on something, <laughs> and maybe it's a little snow for next weekend, but I hope it doesn't stick. Has a beat on yeah, the weather. I the winter jewelry. With a little bling. I've always got to have a little bling. Mm -hmm. And Matt Kostecki, I don't know if you can see the other necklace at all, but I actually bought this from Home of the Sparrow. Wow. Oh, my God. That's is that so cool. cool? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Heidi, that's perfect. Good morning, that's Mary. Good morning, Mary. Mary is my mother. <laughs> hey, Mary. We got to love her moms. That's right. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to talk today at Coffee with Carol and Heather. We always talk about our, our one of our faves, coffee. So I ask everyone to bring a cool mug today, and we'll share a little story about each mug. So who wants to go first? How about Heidi, since she's our guest of the day? Yes, perfect. Okay, so I brought a mega mug, and it says, um, oh, wait, there we there go. You go. <laughs> Believe. 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 So obviously in this season, we've all got to have that as part of our arsenal, right? That we need to believe that good things are coming the way and believe that we're going to meet our goals, achieve our goals. But in it is something actually super special. So I'm not a huge coffee drinker and I probably... Right had more coffee working with United Way in the last year and a half with the <laughs> coffee meetings and Conscious Cup, right? So in some a lot of the other places out in the in the county. But today I actually have a Judy special. A Judy special? A Judy special. So what is that? What that basically is is a combination drink of First of all, any of my drinks have to have a ton of ice in them. So any other ice fans out there? So in my Believe mug, I've got about this much ice. Poured over that is orange juice. And also then a hit of your favorite carbonated beverage. So this is like 7-Up. 
I pour it in there and it's, it's almost like a little sparkling non-alcoholic champagne, if you will. And it's named after my mom, Judy Special. She has been giving that to us since we were like really small. So when I really want to have a nice little bump, that's what I'm going to have as a Judy Special. And you can also oh do a version of that with cranberry juice and I love diet uh, ginger ale with it too. And that one's a really one, good one too. So if you want to kind of spice up your... Um, your mornings or Christmas morning, I encourage you to try it. A Judy awesome. special. I love that. Way to go. It's, it's like good. a mock mimosa or something, mm -hmm. right? And it is so good. It is so good. A Judy special. That's adorable. I love it. Hi, Kristen. And hi, Sherry. Good morning to you, ladies. Welcome. Right. Welcome. Hi. Carol, what do you got? Um, so I have a snowman mug and it's like another one of those big, it's almost the size of my head mug. <laughs> I got I one think, of those today too. I think I got this mug from a woman that sang with me in the contemporary worship band at my church and she filled it with like a hot chocolate, like a homemade hot chocolate container. Um, I'm drinking water, which is kind of my staple drink. Um, and I'm not going to be drinking a lot because apparently when I swallow, <laughs> everyone can hear it. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I love snowmen. If people don't know that, I didn't know that. We have a snowman collection. You know, like oh. any, any kind of snowman in the whole wide world that I've ever seen. I, I don't buy a lot of that stuff, but if it's been given to me, I've collected it. So I have a couple snowmen. Um, I'm looking at my china hutch and I can see I have a, two snowmen platters. they can go through January. So if you put them up, you don't have to take them down at, after Christmas and feel like it's still holiday decorations. It's more of a winter decoration. Yeah. So, I didn't know that about you. That's great. Yeah. Good morning to Lori is on. Lori Parrish. Morning, Lori. Morning, Lori. Lori. All right. So here's mine. It's a, it's a mug as big as your head. Honey. Oh. Honey. <laughs> okay. So if you don't know, I go by in my family, my nieces and nephew call me Aunt Honey. Oh. And so um, my nephew, Sam, gave me this last year for Christmas. They call Everybody calls me Aunt Honey because he was, I wanted to be Aunt Heaven when he was born. I've never had a nickname. Heather is not something you can really nickname. Like my sister's Rebecca. So she goes by Becky or Anthony goes by Tony. Um, so I was like, I want to be aunt heaven and he couldn't say it. He said, aunt honey. And I was like, that's perfect. So that's what they call me when they say Aww. Heather, it's very weird. So it's my most favorite thing. So he gave me this mug. It's, I mean, it is huge. That's wonderful. Isn't that cute? And so I he said last night, he goes, I want to be on your show. <laughs> and it's awesome. my sister, cause he's like 18 and my sister's like, what are you, it's about like United way. What would you say? And I said, well, maybe one day you come on and you can talk about like young people and giving and what inspires young people to give, right? And so I thought I would do my Aunt Honey mug today. That's wonderful. There you go. And he should have joined. That yeah, was awesome. to know that each other be, just a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. It would, be, it would be great to have him as a guest and have a different would perspective be. as a young man, a senior, right? He's a, yeah. he's a blue streak. He is. Yeah. Shout out to the blue streaks. Yeah. So he could get out of e-learning just for this. There's Sam. He's on. Good morning, Aunt Honey. Woo! How cool. Ah! <laughs> Yay! We're, we're talking about, about you, Sam. Mom. That's awesome. They laugh because last year I said to my sister before Christmas, I go, I don't need one more mug. I am cleaning out. I, I love mugs, but it's like I can't get any more things in my um, cabinet. And so she's like, oh, and they gifted me a mug. <laughs> And so we laughed, but I have it here. And this is good for when you need like a double cup or something because it's so big. That's nice. So, yeah. Good morning to Sam and Aunt B. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I do want to shout out Conscious Cup. If you watch us on Fridays, they are a sponsor of our Coffee with Carol and Heather. And so um, they do a really fun thing. And I'm going to pull it up on my phone. If you don't have the Joe app on your phone, um, you can download it. It's Joe app and it will pull up and you can um, be directed to go right to Conscious Cup. And if you type in the code United and do a mobile order this Saturday or Sunday, maybe you're out getting your tree, you're out holiday shopping, you just need a pick me up. 
um, you can go and place a mobile order and get 10% off of your drink. So shout out to Conscious Cup. Um, we love to shop and support local, especially in the holidays. So definitely go get your cup of joe at Conscious Cup, 10% off. Wanted to share that. Um, and then I would also like to share it's $5 Friday. Right? $5, Friday, $5 Friday. Yeah, we I was thinking we always sing that $5 Friday. Well, what does that mean? That means if you want to text fundraising Friday to the number on your phone, 44321, um, $5, $10, $150, your best gift. Or maybe you didn't get a chance to donate for Giving Tuesday and you're interested in doing something wonderful, you can be entered into this month to win this fun holiday sign. Woohoo! Old fashioned sleigh rides. And I've got a challenge for those who are listening. I, because Giving Tuesday was such a huge success, which we'll be sharing in a little bit, I'm going to match any of the $5 donations or any donations that come in between now and December 18th. I will match up to $250. Wow, so, Carol. So if we can raise 250, I'll give 250, and that'll be a great way to say we've had a successful fundraising Friday this this last couple of weeks. So I'd love to do that. Yeah, it'll be I, nice. sh I wish I could write that on here. Your donation will be matched, and then you can win a sign. Yeah. What if you donated five bucks and you won that fun sign to put in your house or give as a gift? That would be awesome. And that thinking really about cool. it, you gave your five bucks and it turned into ten. Yeah. Where you gave your 50 and it turned into 100. Yeah. Perfect. So I'll Thanks, do that. Carol. Yeah. Gosh, Gosh, man, that's wonderful. Well, maybe too, we can put up a post on Facebook and people can just help us share it too. So that that's half the battle of maybe not even just giving the $5, but also just helping us share it. It's a beautifully crafted sign. I saw it in person. Yeah. So make a great gift or something great that you can actually put on your mantle or sky's the limit. Perfect for this time of year. Perfect. Holidays. Love it. Um, so we'll definitely, um, what is our next show is December 18th. Yep. So we'll announce the winner then and we'll talk a little bit about it. So definitely get your $5 in. It's an easy way to text, to give. It's brand new to our United Way and it's been really successful and easy to do. So um, $5 Fridays. Love it. And really, the beauty. This is our first Friday in December, and if you didn't know, and some of you have gifted us a donation, but Giving Tuesday was this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, mm -hmm. December first, and it's an International Day of Giving, and so we did a real fun campaign around Giving Tuesday. We had a ten thousand dollar match, so if we raised ten thousand dollars, we would get ten thousand dollars. Um, from four different sponsors of ours. So we had Alliance Contractors in Woodstock, Associated Electrical Contractors donated in Woodstock also, Remax Plaza, all the fun realtors um, within that group donated, and then also Scott Forge out of Spring Grove. And so we are really excited to announce the results through credit cards, through cash, through Facebook donations and fundraisers. Um, our text to give what we raised this year. Um, and we, you know, of course, need it more than ever as the times are difficult and a lot of people might be struggling. So we were really thrilled and we had a lot of fun putting this together. And so our results are in. Um, as far as we know, things still might come in here and there, but at least we can announce Maybe we should have a drum roll or something. I don't yes. know. Yes, let's do a drum roll. But wait, I see Noreen Arnold just joined under Mary. So at the end, oh. we need to make sure we don't forget maybe a special song. A birthday song. Birthday girl. Woo. Isn't there? Oh, I texted my donation. Thank you, ladies, for all you do for the community. Uh, thanks, Sam. Oh, that's oh. nice. Uh. Yeah, That's so awesome. yeah, do we want to do a drum? Hey, Patrick White is on. He wants to do a drum roll. He's Let's our campaign chair. I think he'll be really excited about this because I don't think he knows the total. Nobody but us three know the total. This is a big deal. <laughs> this uh, is so I, exciting. I wish I had a drum, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think we crushed it this year, ladies. We crushed it. So let's, yeah. before we unveil the numbers, let's talk back really 2017 
we did our first Giving Tuesday campaign and Heather and I woke up that morning and kind of pushed it out on Facebook. And it was like, we really weren't even sure what we were doing because mm -hmm. we just were like, oh, it's Giving Tuesday. We need to do something. And I want to say we raised just like a thousand or two thousand yeah. dollars. And then the next year we raised six thousand. And then last year we raised twelve thousand. And mm -hmm. the reason, you know, we've been able to kind of double the results are these corporate matches that help us really get to that bigger amount. And so we are just so excited about this year because last year being it was like twelve thousand six hundred and fifty four dollars, I want to say. And that included the match. So, without further ado, drum roll. Should I post it? Drum roll! Here we go! Here we go! I mean, come on. $27,113. Isn't that amazing? Woo, woo, woo. Isn't that amazing? $27,000, and that includes the match. So really, our community showed up that day with seventeen thousand dollars or so, and then it was matched for ten. Thank you, everybody. Impressive! It's Thank so you. exciting. Yes, yeah, so exciting. You know, and and here's the thing: I want to remind everybody who's listening, and for those who will view this later, it's a collective impact. We had people, and I see Vicky just joined us from yep. Harvard School District. So Vicky launched her United Way campaign, and. Um, that was out in Harvard that day. And so there was a lot of people from the Harvard school district that made a gift through text to give for the, and it counted towards this giving Tuesday amount, which was awesome. And then we had our board members who were out there pushing out Facebook fundraisers and our staff and, and our friends and people like Kristen and others who were on the call that made, um, contributions. Right. And it's like, in addition to their normal pledge, right? Yeah. People might be giving, we're all giving to the United Way through a normal payroll deduction, but this was an added bonus. This was an added an amount. Um, and so it's, this is why the United Way model works so beautifully because so many people can choose to give any amount that's affordable to them. And then we collectively raise all those dollars and for Giving Tuesday, $27,113 total, really over the course of 24 hours. Now, some of us started our fundraisers right. earlier, Patrick White, our campaign chair, and Heather and Heidi and I, we all said, let's launch this around this, uh, November 1st to really try to take advantage of uh, that and posting and reposting and sharing. And it's amazing how over the course of social media, people see it at 6 a.m., wouldn't see it at 6 p.m., and you have a whole different audience. And so thank you, McHenry County, Thank you to the community for showing up big time and really making this Giving Tuesday a huge success. Um, those dollars will be reinvested in McHenry County um, through our 33 nonprofit agencies later this spring um, or, you know, in spring when we do our allocations process. And it's so important and so many people will benefit from that. So tremendous effort by the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And that match is, I think, inspiring too. Just like Carol said, she will match today. Um, and I think you made a good point. People also give through and pledge like we all do through our um, payroll deduction. Um, but if you're not giving, this is a great way to give or even in addition, which I know so many people did. And we said a lot of thank you for doing that in addition to your gift because the need is great this year. And I think Carol, you and I were on Star 105 this week and talked a little about, you know, we have been lucky to to keep working um, mm -hmm. our jobs during this when so many are laid off. So we felt, um, as I know a lot of people do, you know, extra generous to right. show our appreciation and to support those who maybe are not. Right. Um, well, and when I say I'm going to give a gift of, you know, an additional match up to $250, if I think about what that really means, you know, my husband and I go out for dinner and we, we love, we still are purchasing food and doing yeah. curbside pickup and carry out and things like that. But we have saved a tremendous amount of money. If I just took out the coffee that I'm not drinking at the Starbucks and not that I don't want to give them the business, I'm just not traveling around the county the way I was. 
So if I added that up over the course of the last eight months and I would go there once or twice a week, it's 10 bucks a week times however many weeks, 25 weeks, there's my $250. It's easy to find in my budget right now because I've been saving money. I haven't even been putting miles on my car. I don't put gas in my gas tank. And those are the extra dollars in my budget that allow me to do something like this, you know, and it really being able to give back to the community in whatever amount is possible really brings joy into your life. And if you haven't been doing that and you start, you suddenly see the, the benefit to that. And the people who are on this morning, you guys all get it. So it's not any surprise to any of you. Yeah. It's so great. My, my daughter donated and it, you're right. It brings her a lot of joy. It made her feel very good and important. She gets an allowance and a part of it goes to charity and so then she selected um, $43 to go to, to United Way and gave me the cash. And so um, she felt really good about it. So I and think speaking, that's true. Speaking of your amazing daughter, I just want to <laughs> say I was on the phone with Heather when she came to her mom and said, Mom, I want to tell you something. And she said, well, I'm on with Carol. She goes, I know. I want to tell you and Carol. And then she said, I want to give my, my charitable allowance or my charitable savings envelope to the United Way. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. And then you know, she got really emotional yeah. in that moment. And I think that that speaks to how we feel when we're making a difference in the lives of others. And I, yesterday was her birthday. And so I created a birthday video for her and I sang to her. And in, at the end of my video, I said, thank you for making the difference because Noreen, your gift to the United Way is going to help many other children this yep. year. Right. And she can understand that now as a, as a young woman who's eight years old. So anyway, we're grateful to Noreen for her generous heart. Thank we you, are. Marie. That's so yeah. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. We should have had her on. We she should have. Yeah. Well, maybe on the maybe on the 18th we could bring in some of our family members, right? Noreen that would be and fun. Sam and yeah. Heidi. You could bring Sophie, and I'll just bring in myself because there isn't anyone here. But <laughs> girl's gonna adopt a dog, and <laughs> yeah, right. I'll go get a battery operated dog. Kid. We could zoom in your kids from wherever they're at. Ooh, I could show you a little video of my granddaughter, maybe. Yeah. Have to see. Maybe that's what um, I'll do. Oh, I would, we would love to see that. Wouldn't that be fun? It would be so fun. She is. That's exciting. Her first Christmas. Um, yeah. Um, well, so thank you, McHenry County. $27,000 goes a long way. That funds even several programs of ours, frankly, right? So, um, if we look at it that way, that's even more exciting, I think. Mm -hmm. Your dollars stay local, as everybody here knows. But we were so thrilled to share that. And we'll keep you updated if anything else happens or we raise more money. I know people are doing Facebook fundraisers that have a few more days to go. So you never know. That could go to 28, which would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, Did we lose her? For what? Our favorite ornament, just for fun. We had a great, exciting announcement. And so let's keep it going with maybe a fun story about our favorite ornament. And if anybody has a um, picture that they can drop in the comments of their favorite ornament and share like a little story, that would be really cool. I'd love to see it. I know that you guys have really cute stories and, and ornaments to share. So Carol, why don't you go first okay. and share yours? Okay, so I went downstairs in the basement this morning and I found this little box of ornaments and I'm gonna share my favorite one. These are extremely special, they're very dainty. And mm -hmm. so um, these were purchased by my mom, uh, Marianne Schirmer, who um, you guys know my mom passed away um, in March of 2019, but she wrote a note and the note was laying on top of these ornaments at her home. And so when we were going there this spring to clean out the house, I knew my mom had some special ornaments set aside and she wrote, and I mean, this is in her handwriting, which makes it even better. It says some or all 1956 antique bought by Mary Ann on Harlem Avenue at Higgins at a small store. And she wrote in like quotations special, like a specialty store. And um, my mom did not spend a lot of money on ornaments and things. Whatever we had as kids is what we had for years. But these were definitely ones I cherish. And so 
talking about it with Heather and Heidi this morning, I said, you know what, I'm going to box up one ornament for each of my children and grandchildren, my daughter-in-law. So everyone has one of my mom's specialty ornaments for their tree. And then they can put them on their tree and every year think of my mom and dad. So. Oh, so sweet. Are those like yeah. blown glass? Uh, they could be. I you know don't what know. I'm saying? Like those are my husband's favorite, though. Like he yeah. loves those. I mean, yeah. They're just so and they're so dainty. Yes. The fact that they've survived all these years. Um, because again, us kids would go play in the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. There was like a closet. We'd go in there and play and mess around. And so, you know, we could have stepped on them or whatever. But there's another one. It's broken, but it's kind of got a just a cool. Oh, those are so cool. What a yeah. sign of the times, those, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, those these... are definitely, uh, Carol, those I believe are star brights. And your mom is right. They're super, super special yeah. from, from that era. They're gorgeous. Well, and, the and box, I'm so glad you told the story earlier because I think you're right. I think I would have been so teared up listening to that. <laughs> what a great thing to leave a note. Isn't that a reminder to all of us to leave notes for people to understand the value? Oh, you know? Yeah. The box actually is, doesn't have a lid, but it says on the box that they're from Poland. So, wow. You know, what boxes usually would say that. So, yeah, lots of really cool. And there's probably there's more down in the basement that I save. But, you know, just really cool. And they're all. Yeah, dainty. those are they're really cool. Tiny and dainty and different. So anyway, that's my story. Those are so pretty. Yeah. Like a vintage. Those probably worth a lot of money. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. Like they're vintage. They're vintage. Right. 50s, I mean, for they sure. might be worth 10 bucks each or something, but. Mm -hmm. They're worth more to me to just keep them. I up. know. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, my mom would so love sweet. that I shared that this morning. Yeah. Oh, she, she was one of these people who started Christmas music on October 31st. So big yes. believer in Stop the that. holidays. Yep. Is that you, Heidi? <laughs> I, I, would, I would not be allowed. But yes, deep down, I have I been known to sneak one or two. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, what's your ornament? All right, so speaking of the 50s, we must have had that same mindset. Dun, oh, dun, dun. <laughs> I love it. This is Jingles. And Jingles has been around for a super long time. He is actually a, a family heirloom. So my grandmother's sisters on my mom's side made Jingles. I don't know if you can hear him. Yeah. And Jangles. Jangles, my sister has him, and he's in red. So this is a styrofoam mm -hmm. head, and he's got all of the sequins. You can see they cut their mouths out. So um, my grandmother's sisters, Ev and Dorothy, so we knew them as Ev and Dot. Speaking of nicknames. We had a Dot. Oh, my God. Love it. These, and they were people, who I, I think that really inspired me to decorate because they would go all out and they had almost all of the family parties um, in the 80s and 90s and all of the cousins would be there on, on that side of the family and their house was not big and we just jammed in there. We had a great time at Easter. They had a yard, you know, they hit all the Easter eggs, but they would really decorate. And these two, when at the end, um, when they were closing their estate, my sister and I said, please, can we have them? Because we always remember looking at them and just looking at the detail. Yeah, that's so neat. What a great So memory. he comes out every year, no matter what. And last year when we moved, or two years ago almost now when we moved, we got rid of like two thirds of our stuff, but he made he, he made, made the cut. cut. Oh, oh, and awesome. your sister has a match, which I think is so perfect. So Ginny, I texted her this morning because we were trying to think about the history on these guys. And I'm <laughs> happy to say that we are equally as senile and that we couldn't remember everything. So I woke my mom up to ask her. So we did. <laughs> um, for helping fill, fill it in, but they're still around. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's wonderful. Oh, Jingle. that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's awesome. And they does he sit like in your house or? He'll sit like he, in, up, he pre sits up there. He's amongst the plants. Our, our current place we're living in now has amazing solar gain. So he kind of right, blends right in with like some of the plants that are around there. His little back is kind of curled up from over the years, but who he looks good in good shape. Yeah, he looks he in good condition. 
<laughs> he really is. And, and I, I saw a picture this morning of his, his friend in Rockford, and he doesn't look half bad either. Jenny thinks he needs plastic surgery, and that Sophie's gonna, Sophie just got a sewing machine. That's my daughter, my youngest daughter. So we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. This is, is so much great. fun. That's awesome. All right. Well, mine is um, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, neat. I have so many. My husband is very good at giving ornaments. Like he loves to do it and he picks out perfect ones. So I got this a few years ago because it is my dream to go to Paris. And um, we were thinking of going this year. Well, obviously not, uh, you know, so that kind of fell to the wayside, but um, it's glittery. So when it hangs on the tree, it's super shiny. And I love to put it like right where I can see it when I sit like on the couch or something, I can see our tree and I put it right front center so that I can just see it shine and like think about hope of going one of these years, maybe next year. We'll cross our fingers, 2021, 22. So yeah, I can go so have cool. my um, croissant. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. That's a great that one. I love that you put it on the tree in a prominent spot that you can see it so that you can dream about going to Paris. That's I know. Well, I do. I say to the kids, I'm like, so let's put the favorites like right up at near front. Like, what's your favorite? And then I I am one of those people that like rearranges it when all the kids are done hanging the, the stuff so that I can so they're like perfectly spaced and even. <laughs> oh, the yeah, that's it's hard not to. Try yeah. to uh, make it your own vision, but I think That's mine know if, if if I moved one, she'd know right away. <laughs> no, they do now. They know. Yeah, they know. They're like, oh, what happened to my um robot? And I'm like, oh, it just fell, and I put it back. I couldn't remember where. <laughs> That's so funny. The secrets of the holidays, right? <laughs> we'll have to. There's like I themes on Facebook, like about the moms who rearrange or whatever. I totally yeah. do it. My husband laughs because he's like, we know you'll change it or something. We should so. on the 18th have all of us share a picture of our tree. Now I'm not really planning on putting up a tree, but we can tell stories about our tree decorating or whatever. Mm -hmm. It would be fun. Be fun to it see would what be people, fun. or how we've decorated, what we've chosen to do. Yeah. Well, you that do have a good idea. Girl. You have a good one. I like your tree. <laughs> I do, I do. I do. I have. I have a little tree, but it's not. Uh, it's not hard to decorate. That's for sure. I love it. Well, that brings us to our point. We are going to be um, back on the air, if you will, on December eighteenth for our next coffee. So definitely join us. In the meantime, if you are inclined, Carol is going to match your donation up to two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I'll turn this guy around. And you can win this lovely old fashioned sleigh ride sign. It's a wood sign, super nicely crafted. $5, nice. collect your donation and you can win the sign. We'll draw the name on December 18th and it will, um, we will get that to you before the holidays. If you wanna give it as a gift or hang it up, um, it's, it's a great little thing. So. Definitely text to donate. If you didn't already this week, we would love it. Donate your $5 to Fundraising Friday here on the screen to 44321. And thank you to everybody who joined us today. Thank you, Kristen, Patrick, Mary. Thank you. Kristen just made a donation. Thank so you, nice. Yeah. I want to say, so, and I said this this week, Kristen was my first like United Way friend that I met uh -huh. here. She worked for what was formerly Poly One. And um, she and and we've since become friends. So um, she holds a special place in my heart, Chris. And, and I, I love her. I remember when I first came that you told me all about her, and you were like, "Oh my gosh, she's like the most amazing person." It was so cool. Yeah, she's so a lovely person. Very special. All those people over there down the street at Poly One. Now it's Aviant, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Are good people. So. So thank well, you all. And yet, let's not forget to sing a very special song oh. for a very special someone who oh. actually came <laughs> and watched and actually donated to Giving Tuesday. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Nori. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha cha cha. <laughs> Happy that birthday, Dory. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Dory. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. 
We will see you on December 18th. Enjoy your holiday season. And thank you for all your donations. Giving Tuesday. We're grateful, right? Very grateful, grateful, grateful. Very grateful. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, Heidi. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.